Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 3-3 of May, June 2011 for paper 3 of A-level math. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. Question number one, here we have to use logs to solve this equation, giving your answer correct to 3SF. Again, solving means find the unknown. Here we have to find the values of x. So let me write down this equation again. So here we have 5 power 2x minus 1 e is equal to 2 times 3 power x. Now, now the good thing is we know already we have to use log, right, by the question. So we apply log on both sides. So log on this side and log on this side as well. Now what's next? Next we have to simplify. Obviously we know by the laws of logarithms. For example, let's say I have log of a power 2. I know I can send this over here. It is the same thing as saying 2 log of a. Similarly, the power here, I can send this to the beginning. You will have 2 minus 1 times log of 5. And this is equal to what? So here we can break it down by, again, using the law of logarithms. For example, let's say we have log of a, b. It's the same thing as saying log of a plus log of b. So you will have log of 2 plus log of 3 power x. Fair enough. Now let's try to uh, obviously bring this down, as we have seen here. Let's bring this here, over here. So you will have log 2 plus x log 3. Now we have to find x. So to find x, the idea is to make x become the subject of the formula, right? So here you have for expand, you will have 2x log 5 minus log 5. Now here we have the term in x and the term in x. So send all the terms in x into one side. You will have 2x log of 5 minus x log of 3 is equal to log of 2 plus log of 5. Now what's next? So here we can simplify, we can factorize the x outside because we want just x as your subject. That will be 2 log of 5 minus log of 3. Combine them, there will be log of 2 times 5 will be 10, right? Now what's next? We can send this on top. You will have x. That will be log of 25 minus log of 3. Now, hence, to find the value of x, pretty easy. x will be what? Log of 10 divided by log of 25 minus log of 3. Here you go. So we just have to plug this in and then provide your answer to 3SF. So here we have log of 25 minus log of 3. Log of 10 divided by answer. That should be. 1.08599, but 3SF, 1.09. And this is the answer for question number one for the value of x to 3SF. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have this equation of curve y equal to this. Now we have a stationary point. We have, the, we have to find the x coordinate of this point. So something we have to know right away is that at a stationary point, what happens? dy by dx have to be zero. So we have to find dy by dx. y is given to you as ln of x over x cube. So we have to differentiate using the quotient rule. Here you go, dy by dx. So here the order is important. So first we have to write this one as it is. So same stuff. Multiply by d by dx on this one. That will be 1 over x. Then minus this one as it is. Multiply by d by dx of this one, that will be 3x squared. Then everything divided by the square of the, of the base, that will be power 6. Now we understand to find the stationary point, we have to equate that thing to 0. As you can see, cross multiply, it will cancel out. Something times 0 is 0, so it will not matter. Now next, simplify, that will be 2 here. Have x squared here, minus 3 x squared ln of x. Now, we can try to factorize, right? You will have this one. And here you have 1 minus 3 
none of x. This one, here you go. Now obviously uh, you will cancel out this one. We will be looking at the point inside. For example, right now you will have this is zero or this will be zero. But this one will not be taken into account because it has only one point of stationary point. We have to look at this one. So you have three ln of x has to be one. So ln of x has to be one over three. X have to be exponential one over three. So this is the x value of this point, And this is your answer for question number two. Only one point, so only one answer at the end. Have to choose this one. This is your question number two. Now let's move on to question number three. So here we have to show the left hand side become the right hand side. So let me write this down again. So here we have the integration of one zero, one minus x exponential power minus half x is equal to four exponential minus half minus two. So we have to show this exactly as your end result. So how would you integrate this? So by observation, you can see it is what is a product. So we have to use this one is algebra. This one is exponential. So we have to use integration by parts. Now the formula is simple is uv minus integration of v du. Right. Now for by parts, we have to use the rule of late or lita, but t, sorry. But right now we don't have inverse trig function. So there's no need for that. So this is what algebra, this one. This one is exponential right here. So in this list, which one comes first? You can see, well, this one comes first. So my algebra here will be my u. This will be my dv in this equation. Now I have to find the value of du. So du will be what? Minus 1 times the x. I have to find a v by integration. That will be same stuff, but divide by minus half. That will be this one. Now again, when you divide by half is times two, minus will be adding the minus sign in front. That will be your v. Hopefully you guys know how to, how to integrate this thing, right? First thing first, it will be the same stuff, then divide by minus half. So you will have this. Now next thing, pretty, pretty simple, just replace values in this formula. So u is u, which is this one. v is this one. minus integration of v, which is this one. du is just minus one dx. Great. Now simplify, we can send this over here in front, you have minus two. Here, this one will cancel out with this one. So, and this one will again bring it back, you will have minus two exponential this dx. Now we have seen this, this, what is this? Same thing right here, it will give you minus two exponential this again. So finally I can say, well, from doing this, we will have minus two, this one right here, minus x, minus, minus become plus, two times two is four, exponential this, with limits of what, of one and zero, right? Now let's solve one by one, plug in one first, so one here will become zero. So one minus one is zero, zero times something will be zero, right? Plus four exponential minus half. Minus, so zero here, that will be uh, minus two exponential zero times one plus four exponential zero. So let's simplify. This is, so anything power zero will be simply as one. So you have minus two times one. Here we have four times one. That will be plus two right? Now for this one will be 4 exponential minus half minus plus 2. So eventually we have 4 exponential minus half minus 2. And this is shown exactly as what we need to show here for your answer. So this is integration by parts for question number 3. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.